Capricorn, welcome to Rising Vibrations. Amiga. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. This is for Leo. Uh, I'm shooting from the airport in Capricorn, Iceland, because I wanted to capture some of the energy here in the readings, especially after the eclipse season. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Elemental Sign, and Energy. So let's look at what Leo needs to know. For the next three to four weeks, we're talking about the middle of September. And now we have the Four of Cups. And this to me looks like a situation where someone has decided to take a particular course of action and they're not convinced about it. Um, I feel like this is also someone thinking that something can be better somewhere else. Something is better somewhere else. It will be better there. This is what I'm hearing. It's better over there. It will be better if I go there. Or it will be better if I'm with this person. So it can be a situation where they can't. I'm sorry, Leo. This is for Leo Sun Moon Rising. Uh, where the Leo can think that they may have better offers coming towards them or what they see as better offers. Uh, somehow they're considering their options. Let's see what else. Look at that. We have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. So it is something about options, considering their options. It can also be that the Leo is feeling like they've taken a wrong turn somewhere that has brought them into a situation that they uh, they don't necessarily like a condition in life uh, that they don't necessarily like. But sometimes you have to wait a little bit until things pan out. And you have to take things as it comes. Everything happens as it should. And I think this is the case of that. Things are happening somehow as they should. And you can't, if you don't have the immediate result or feeling, it's also about feeling that you want to have right now. Sometimes you have to wait and see how things pan out. And that's what this feels like to me, waiting to see how things will pan out. So let's see what else uh, that Leo needs to know, in particular, about their private intimate life. Look at that, we have the Eight of Cups. So I feel like, again, um, it could be a situation where the Leo is stuck in a type of energy pattern that they cannot seem to break away from. They are unable to release themselves from toxic situations or dysfunctional situations or even a dysfunctional way of feeling and thinking. They haven't been able to break out of that pattern. And maybe that can also be this energy of thinking, what if this, what if that? What if I would have zigged when I should have zagged? And this doesn't bring you anywhere because you can't you can't really change the situation or the choices that you made to bring you where you are now. You can only try to look more forward towards the future and take the lessons that you learned to move uh, forward positively uh, in your future. Let's see what else is up here for Leo. Yeah, seven of swords. And this I'm getting, I played myself. I played myself. Um, not necessarily a bad way to look at it, especially if you know that you've taken decisions that are not that beneficial for you, or you have been caught in this type of loop where you know that you're participating in even with people that you know are not good for you, who is to blame? You are the, you make your own decisions about your life. You're in control of your life. You have to control that um, direction of your life, like a steering wheel. You control the car, you control the direction of your life, and you have to take responsibility for that. And that's what it feels like in fact the is doing. They're taking responsibility Perhaps they're being a bit critical of themselves, again, thinking that they made not uh, positive or good decisions for themselves, and they're, they're going through that process over the next two to three weeks. So what what's going to bring them, what's going to bring Leo out of this energy? What will help them? 
We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, go through the process. It's about being authentic and also honest with yourself. Sometimes you can rewrite your story and you can tell yourself lies about how you've landed where you are. And and we all do this, but somewhere deep down inside, you know the truth and you know the reality of the situation. Um, and again, it's not about blaming others. It's about taking responsibility for your actions because when you have, when you take the responsibility, you take the control. Sorry, I'm gonna let this go. So Leo is taking the responsibility and they're kind of going through this process of seeing where they were at fault and seeing where they can make corrections for the future. It's actually a positive reading, guys. Let's see what else. We have the Ten of Wands. Again, this feels like self-blame. Um, and there might also be a requirement, and I'm feeling that, that the Leo needs to stop blaming themselves for things that occurred in the past and try to find a way to move past that energy of even even assigning or attributing blame to anyone, not them and not others, or looking for a plan on how to better their situation or better their future prospects. Okay, if this is about, oh, I should have, I should have gone back to school. I should go back to school. And if I would have gone to school, this would have happened. I would be in this place. You don't know that. If I never met this person and I met this kind of person, my life would be like this. You don't know that. There's so that, That's really what this reading is about. You cannot judge a book by its cover. You see so many people that seem to have the perfect life, perfect relationship, perfect job. But in reality, it's not like that. Everybody has their challenges uh, and struggles in life. And that's what I'm seeing here. And this is uh, normal, Leo, that, that that you have the same challenges and struggles in life with everyone and looking, trying to understand your environment and uh, others in your environment. And also uh, maybe even somewhat comparing and contrasting your life to others. This is the kind of thing you're going through. And it's not necessarily a negative thing. But start looking more towards how you can better and improve your own situation and taking formative steps to improve your situation. Yeah? Look at that. We have Major Arcana, the Hermit. And I feel like you're going to get there, but I feel this and this to me looks like a stroke of luck, if that's possible. I feel like the Leo energy is going to have a stroke of luck that this type of self-reflection or even self-blame is going to I don't know how to say that it's like an opportunity is going to be opened up for them a stroke of luck will be opened up for them as almost a kind of test to see how they're going to react and what they're going to do if they're going to turn it down and then later on feel like oh I should have would have could have so this reading is something about should have would have could have are you going to grab the next opportunity that comes your way or will you be uh, complacent and then therefore perhaps sad about it later because you weren't willing to take a risk so let's see what else we're going to pull one more card because we're running long on this reading for Leo this is again for Leo we have the princess of, of I think the Leo is going to continue to go through that process of self-reflection, but this is going to open up a type of opportunity for them. And it's your responsibility, Leo, to be ready and willing to pick up an opportunity that very well may land in your lap between now in the middle of September. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, guys. Sorry for the background recording. And I'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye.